Yeah, 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 absolutely. And like yeah. I say, um, and I don't, I, you know, you know, we, us been on this platform. I don't want to seem like I'm just the good guy or I'm just too good or I'm just that. Listen, I was the worst at wholesaling. I was the worst at getting on the phone. You guys, my lady, my listen, we used to laugh and crack up all the time because we used to record them. I used to be like, oh my God, sounds bad. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Repetition. Repetition, man, I just kept my my confidence just continued to grow, 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 grow. And like I say, I struggle, man. I, I these last so my first year I did well, my second and third year I did. I did I was, it was bad. But this year I flipped yeah. done more deals this year than I've done in my last two years. Okay. Just being more consistent with my marketing, being more consistent with my goals. Yep. Uh, and hold myself to a, a higher standard. I think that's the, the key to all of it. Sometimes yep. just hold yourself to a certain standard. You know, if you don't, if you allow C work, you're gonna get C results. Kind of simple. One hundred. If you are here, if you know you gotta do a hundred calls a day, and you are here giving 25, 50 calls a day. You're not gonna hit your goal. So don't feel, don't be upset when you don't hit your goal. You know, um, like I said, just repetition, repetition, man. Yes. yes. So, so that's one thing that. You know, it is the key thing is, is but, um, you know, you don't want to be repeating old or bad patterns. You want to recognize what you're doing. So if you need to record yourself and watch your recording, listen to yourself and figure out, guess what? There's always another call to make. Absolutely. Okay? It, so, but if you take that and you don't do anything with it, that's the key. You need to improve yourself every single time. So if I get on a call and I'm like, I got this guy cost cussing me out. Okay. Like, I don't want to sell to you guys. I don't want to sell. You guys are making my neighborhood look bad, blah, 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 this and that. By the way, it's the opposite. Right. Um, but anyways, I, you know, and so what do I do? I'm like, okay, sir. You, and you know, thank you, blah, blah, blah. Or if I pop off the handle and I do something. I go back and I listen to that recording and I say, what could I have said differently to calm the situation, to calm him, and guess what, maybe turn it into something good? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, you know? I have I have multiple conversations like that where I just so, I, work for, we, I do marketing as well. So we have a thing where we have eight steps. So the one, one in six is my favorite. Have a positive mental attitude and then maintain. Number six is maintain a positive mental attitude. Okay. You, know, you can have it, but then you can also maintain it. So that's, that's exactly. my whole thought process on the phone. I, I come in with I come in with great energy. Majority of the time, I'm standing up, so yeah, they right. they feel me. You know, I'm yeah. standing up. I talk deep. I breathe in. And no matter what they going through, no matter you know, if I don't get the if I don't get the uh, the appointment or the contract, I don't be like, oh, that's not working. I'm like, okay, next, what's the next? Let's go. You know, if they cussing me out. Because I don't have people, dudes, ladies call me all types of names. Out my name, do this, do that, do this, do that. I'm like, dang, just say no. You know what I mean? Yeah, just tell yeah, me no. Yeah, I can yeah. deal with that. But they go, they go, they want to hurt your feelings. Yep. So, like I say, having a positive mental attitude and then maintaining it, you know, that's the biggest thing for me right now. Just maintaining my, my positive mental attitude and not letting them discourage me because it can be always worse. It can be. You know, it, can always, it can always be worse. So I don't, I don't really trip. And then, like I said, me coming from where I come from, I've seen, I've seen worse. Mm -hmm. So this is like you telling me, no, that's fine, that's cool. I'm just on to the next. Look like we may have gotten frozen a little bit. Me one second. Sorry, <laughs> it was. Hold on. Mike, you there? He froze, he froze. All right, let's see. Let's see if he comes back. So, sorry about that, but he is 100% right on that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Is 100% right as far as uh, Kit, Keep yourself surrounded by uh, as many people as you can. All right. Keep the positive attitude. Uh, he's going to come back in here in a minute. Um, sounds like. 
Um, but keep the positive attitude throughout the whole call. Okay, start off. If you're sitting here and you're slouching and you're making a call, hello, I'm looking for Mr. Seller over here. I'm looking for somebody who's on 18123 Main Street. You know, hello, sir. No, you gotta bring the energy, bring the positive, stand up straight, talk, smile. That's the one thing I love. If you're on a phone call, okay, and you're bringing it here, and you're smiling, okay? Smiling is the key on a phone yeah. call. Did I lose smiling. you? Everybody, everybody says, they like, kid you not, all right? So, did you lose me at Randy? Right, let's see. Don't do you that again, me? Mike. Stay, well, come on, come on. All right, Mike, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. My my Wi-Fi. I don't know why my Wi-Fi. Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you. What the world is going on? No, I can't hear you. Uh, let me see. What in the world? Okay, you're on a show. Right, let's see. What about now? Nope, can't hear you. All right, one second. I'm going to see. Yep. All right. So while he gets his audio check coming in, like I said, keep the positive attitude. Um, oh, you can hear him. All right. Let's see. Then maybe it's mine. You hear me now? Yep, I can hear you now. Perfect. My bad, bro. My bad. I don't know why. That's why I stayed in the office because my Wi-Fi at the house be tripping sometimes. Gotcha. Uh, but what I miss? I'm sorry. All right. So I was just kind of following up on what you were saying about, you know, um, so yeah, you know, everybody's saying that they could hear you before. I guess it was my it was my microphone. So oh, okay. I, I apologize. I on that. But like I say, I was just kind of going on what you said, you know, as far as, you know, when you're cold calling, you're, you're, you're standing up, you're smiling, you're, you're having mm -hmm. a good time, things like that. Got to keep keep that momentum up, you know. So um, so I'm good with. Uh, all right. So we're on here cold calling. Mm -hmm. You're doing all this. Now, where are you at right now as far as your cold call? Are you still doing it all yourself? Are you hiring a virtual assistant? Um, where are you at with that? So I'll so I have a partner that does my cold calling. Okay. Um, I had a VA for a while and I'll probably hire her back because she was awesome. Um But I'm not doing a like a bunch of volume cold calling. It's more just like particular zip codes. Maybe like I pull a list of two, three hundred people. Maybe okay. 50 people, like very, very, like very specific zip codes. Like, and like, say for example, I'll pull like a list of 100 vacant properties and 4219 that are a brick or three bedrooms. So, more just like cold calling wise, more specific. Text messages wise, I'll probably do the whole zip code. Okay. Um, and like I said, Facebook, um, Facebook has probably been, been my most consistent so far. A little pricey. Yeah, what is it? Okay. it's cost per lead on that. Uh, so I spend anywhere from twenty to twenty-five bucks per lead. Okay, so I probably spend I probably spend like a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks a month. Okay, what about per deal? Like any deals that you get? Um, I've closed two deals with him since the end of January, and I have two I have two duplexes now that I'm looking to get rid of. And I got. I got, well, I have five leads come in today. So, awesome. uh, man, I, I enjoy, I enjoy the digital marketing. Um, I'll probably add some more like uh, PPC as well. Give me some landing pages going. Um, see, this, and it's like, I didn't know about none of this last like three, four years ago. Like I was yeah. completely like, I'm just cold call, cold call, cold call, cold call, cold call. But it's like, I don't, I prefer the marketing where the leads come to me. Yes. They work with Mr. Cooper. Yep. I don't want to chase leads all day long. It's fine. I mean, and it may, you have to do it at some point in time. Yeah. You know, but it's very, very tiring. Yeah. You know, you, you can get, you can get very, your, your PMA, you can lose your, your PMA very fast cold calling because you're dealing with people that's having bad days, that really yep. don't want to sell sometimes, you know, that's dealing with family issues. And then me calling probates, probate leads, those people are emotional. 
they just lost a family member. You know, so I had to understand that too. Like they just lost a family member. They be on the phone like, I just lost my mom, my mother two days ago. You call on my phone, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, and I just keep my positive mental health. I say, hey, miss, I apologize. I'm just doing, I'm just doing what's best for me and my company right now. You know, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I would just call her and see what you'd be interested in selling that property. You know, if she gives me, if she gets so, I try to kill her negative with my positive. Yep. Yeah, I understand what you're going through, you know, um, if it's relatable, I, I lost my grandmother or my grandfather not too long ago as well. You know, I completely understand where you're going from. If you don't want to talk today, if you would like to meet, if you if you like to uh, call back in a few weeks, a few months, I could definitely do that too as well. You know, I try to be as very, I try to be as very, um, try to be I'm sorry. as relatable as possible. Yeah. You know? I try to. I don't try to be forceful. That's never. That's never been my skin. My 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 thing. I've never been like a forceful salesperson or anything like you want to call. I've never been a first a, a forceful person. So my thing is, if it's gonna come, it comes. If it don't, then hey, we just not to fit for each other, and that's fine too. And, and that is one thing that I want to bring to the new people out there is this: don't think you're gonna come in here, you're gonna do wholesaling, you're gonna convince people to sell. We are not here, and I say this time and time again, we are not here to convince people. We are here to give them solutions, give them options. We are not here to convince people. We're here to give them solutions. My bad. We going live. I ain't, I ain't even catch this up there. Isn't, hey, look, we're going to do this more often, man. Yeah, man. Every uh, time, man. But yeah, man, it's just like I say, uh, for everybody that's out there watching now, just learn and grow and, and just try to sharpen your sharpen your blade. Sharpen yep. your blade. Man. That's the so big let me, thing. Let me ask you this here. Um, you know, for somebody who is new, mm -hmm. brand new, don't mm -hmm. know what to do, what would you recommend? They they just heard about so they just heard about wholesaling. Okay. They went through a, a seminar or watched a few YouTube videos. Things like that. Uh -huh. What would you recommend them starting off doing? Do they have money or no money? What's the budget? They have very little. Very little budget. Couple hundred uh, bucks. You know, maybe. I would. I would call to, call, call to five or five hundred to a thousand. I would cold call. I will pull a list of vacant properties. I stay owners. I will cold call because it's, it's, it's the most cost effective, and not only that. It's like, blah, it's right in your face. Yeah. You know, you gotta get, you gotta get used to hearing no. You gotta build that callus. It's like a muscle. Mm -hmm. You can't, if you can't deal with no, this ain't, this ain't the business for you. That's right. Uh, I will cold call. Uh, once I cold call, I will, after I get my first deal, I will invest. I would invest in a, in a mentor. Okay. If I, because honestly, what's crazy is this. If I can do go back and do it again, yep. I would I would have got my first deal and I would have spent it on mentorship. So how much was your first deal, by the way? Ten grand. Okay. I well, look, fine. Right, right, right. So I'm listen, in my head, okay, so look. When I closed my first deal, I wasn't super like super overly excited. I just knew that if I can do it once, I can do it multiple times over again. Yep. So in my head, I'm already rich because I got proof of concept. Yes. I'm all, I've always been a, con a confident person with my sports background and whatnot. So once I did, I'm like, oh, I'm rich. I can do this ever. I can do this all over again. But I, I had an employee mindset. Yep. So that 10 grand didn't last me nothing but about a month and a half, too. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna come back. To, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like that. But it's like I just grind. I just. Took, it took me three months to get that 10 grand. It's the most money I ever made in my life from us. My taxes, a stool refund, we do my lawn service, 10 grand right then and there. I, um, like I said, I would have took, I would have took a thousand, probably pay the bills, 1500 pay the bills, gave it to my lady. Hey, look, here, here's that. I would take the 8,500 mm -hmm. and find me a mentor to help me through the fire. Because man, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to bump your head. 100%. Multiple times. And if you don't have the skin for it, you're going to quit. You're yeah. going to quit. I know, I know, I know a bunch of guys that can quit, ran out the business. Um, 
that came in with me, that started with me, like pretty a bunch of guys that just started. But like I say, I just never stopped. And I think that I, I credit that to my mother and also my sports background.